What up, y'all? It's Sam at Then Can Designs here with another video to help your small business reach its big goals. In today's videos, we're going to be discussing the importance of having a mobile friendly website for your website. Did you know over 60% of traffic on the internet is on a mobile device? Folks, we cannot be scrolling side to side. We cannot be pinching to zoom on our website. We need to have it be mobile friendly. Let's discuss some tips on how to do that in this video. And this one is for my innovators, my future makers, and my risk takers. That sounds like you stick around because we're gonna make your website so friendly with mobile, it's gonna be like best friends with mobile. Let's do this. get started just a quick apologies my Mac decided to die not really had a little line in the screen weird but Apple fixed it so kudos to you Apple for getting my screen fixed in less than a week pretty awesome we're back in business let's go why is it so important to have a mobile friendly website well it should seem obvious right when we go to most websites nowadays it makes sense they have certain elements that we expect to see when we're on a mobile page However, I can't tell you how many times I've been to a small business website and it is not mobile friendly or it's like an attempt at a mobile friendly site. You might have a hamburger up in the corner and your content's a little bit bigger, but you're just, you're missing that little, that makes a mobile website really mobile friendly. Or maybe it's not too responsive. Got a weird screen size, not quite working out. Yeah, let's talk about it all right now. It's so important to have a mobile friendly website because so many people are using mobile devices. Think about it. When you look stuff up nowadays, what do you normally start with? Probably your smartphone, maybe even your tablet. And then like, God forbid your computer. If your website's not mobile friendly, you're just missing out on a segment of your target audience. And remember, if you want your small business to reach its big goals, we have to take our visitors and turn them into paying customers. People, we need them to like, we need them to subscribe, and we need them to pay. Cha-ching, you know how this goes. All for the right cause, right? We wanna help our customers. But of course, we need to put food on the table, bacon in the fridge, or kale in your salad, whatever you like to eat. You may remember one of my previous videos that talked about getting to the front page of Google but did you know that Google also pays attention to how mobile friendly your website is? If your website is not mobile friendly, Google is actually down ranking it. We don't want that. We want to go up the ranks of Google. So let's make sure that our sites are mobile friendly. And when we make our sites mobile friendly, it makes it more accessible and more user friendly and that's going to increase engagement. So those visitors that are just checking out your site might stick around a little longer and then you have yourself that potential paying customer. Let's discuss the characteristics of a mobile friendly website. Six characteristics. Here we go. Number one, fast loading times. We want to make sure that the page loads quickly. If I'm scrolling on my phone, I want to make sure that it just pops up right away. I don't have a lot of time. I'm on my phone. If it takes more than three seconds, there's a very good chance that they are going to bounce. As we've discussed in this channel before, that means leave and go elsewhere. We don't want that. Number two easy navigation it should be very clear and easy how to navigate the site even if it's just a website that's got a home page and about page and a contact page make it easy for me to get around responsive design that means that on different screens we have different layouts small little subtle changes we take that thing that's three columns on desktop and we move it so that it's a stack these little changes Show that you care and you tried when you were making your website or you had somebody else do it, but it shows that you care. Number four, large readable fonts. Make it easy, easy for people to see what you're selling, what you're promoting, whatever it is you're doing, make it easy. Number five, clear call to actions. In my five tips to make your website immediately better video, which you should definitely check out, and a masterclass is coming. Spoiler. 
I mentioned that you must, must, must have a clear call to action above the fold. And the same thing is true in mobile. And don't make that button tiny, people. Make it big. Not like annoyingly big, but make it big enough so that they, they can just tap and carry on with their day. It should be easy. Am I making myself clear? Number six, minimal design. Don't overdo it, especially on mobile. I hide elements on my website and mobile because, hey, they don't need to see as much stuff. On desktop, there's more room to look around, check out some cool stuff, have some nice features. But seriously, on mobile, get to the point. People want to get from point A to point B faster on mobile. There can be some extra offerings on your desktop page. That's great. But on mobile, keep it simple. A lot of people discuss a mobile first philosophy when it comes to designing websites. And while I think there's a lot of value to that, I don't always follow that philosophy because I think that we can have a little more room to breathe, more room for creativity with our desktop site. We can think of creative ways to display the same kind of content in maybe a different way. However, I have noticed in certain sections, if I'm not thinking about the way this is gonna lay out on mobile, it just doesn't work out. And it kinda sucks to have to duplicate content for desktop and mobile and hide on desktop or hide on mobile. That's not very efficient on the back end. And it's gonna hurt your load times, which we discussed earlier as being important. So try to have a little bit of thoughtfulness when it comes to what your website will look like on mobile as you're designing the desktop site. How do we optimize our design for mobile devices? Three quick tips here. One, let's have a clear navigation. That's usually that little hamburger menu that you see in the top right of web pages, right? Click it, make it easy for me to get to the next thing. Do you have a menu for your restaurant I should be able to click on the little hamburger, click menu, and I should be on the menu. That easy. Keep it simple. And speaking of simple, tip number two, let's have a clear, concise message on your web page. Let's make it simple, people. That's the message of this mobile, smaller screen. Keep it simple. And last but not least, we need the page to load quickly. So number three, let's optimize images. I don't have a video on this one yet, but I do have a blog post you can check out. I don't know if I can actually link like that, but I'm still going to point anyway. And on that blog post, I discuss some of the methods that you can use to optimize images. You want to make sure that your image is as small as possible size-wise, as well as pixel-wise, which will equal megabytes, well, really kilobytes at that point. And you want to make sure that it still looks good, because you want your website to look good, right? Follow these three tips for designing your website, and they'll be more mobile-friendly already. How do you make sure that your website is actually mobile friendly? Well, there's ways to test and measure your mobile friendliness. Probably the best tool is Google's mobile friendly test, which I'll link to below. It's super easy to use. All you have to do is put your URL in the little box. It'll run some tests and it'll let you know whether or not your site is mobile friendly. I typed in thencandesigns.com, got a thumbs up, felt pretty good about myself. But maybe you check out your website and you find out it's not so mobile friendly. Well, maybe it's the time to jump into the future and have a mobile friendly device so one of those 60% of the people using the internet can have an experience on your website that is appealing to the user, people. How else can we check? Well, if you have analytics on your website like Google Analytics or Phantom or one of those other GDPR compliant ones out there, you can see where you're getting traffic from. And I can tell you just from checking the little bits of traffic that I get on thencandesigns.com, the numbers seem about right. I do have a lot of desktop viewers, but I'd say about half the people come from mobile. So it sounds right to me. So I wanna make sure my mobile site still looks good. And last but not least, there's a lot of tools out there, including Browser Stack, which I'll link to in the description below, which is a pretty cool way to look at your device on different screens. So that way you can kind of test to see what your website looks like without actually having to test out on different devices. There's also the Chrome developer tools. If you hit right click inspect on your computer, there's a little picture of like different devices. You can actually switch to different devices. And if you click around, I'm sure you can find a million YouTube videos on that. No need for me to dive into that. So let's start to distill the message of this video down to two big points. If you have a mobile friendly website, you're going to improve your user's experience. And that's going to make it so they're more likely to stick around, which makes them more likely to enjoy what you're doing and more likely to buy from you or like or subscribe or donate, whatever you're looking to get from your consumers. 
The other thing you're going to get is you're actually going to get brownie points from the robots that run the internet, like Google. So you're going to rank higher because your site is mobile friendly. It'll also likely be more accessible, which is always a good thing to strive to do. Let's review. How do we make our site mobile friendly? First and foremost, we wanna make sure that the page is loading quickly, which means we're gonna to have to optimize our images and really think about mobile design up front so that way we're not duplicating elements on the same page. Two, we wanna make sure our design is perfect for the mobile experience. And large, readable fonts, easily touchable buttons, and so easy, like easy, easy navigation, usually with that little hamburger button up in the corner. And last but not least, we learned about some tools of how we can test these things without having to carry around like 30 devices with us so that we can make sure that it works on every device. Because we want to know that if somebody uses a Google Pixel, it'll work. If somebody uses an iPhone SE, it'll work. If somebody uses one of those giant fold phones, is it going to work? I want it to be a good experience for my users so they stick around. As a small business owner, a content creator, or an entrepreneur, or anybody else that's kind of in that smaller range, and you're thinking, I have this website, and it's pretty good, but it's not mobile friendly. Or maybe you have an idea for a site, and you have some really good ideas for the desktop version, but you're just not sure what that's going to look like on mobile. Well, I'm here to help. Head over to thencandesigns.com right now, where I offer web design packages that, of course, of course, are thinking about mobile first and foremost, and make sure that that desktop site also looks really awesome. And all the things that we talked about, I can help you apply those things when we design your website. Or should I say, I design it for you. Let's make this thing as easy as you want your website to be for your users. But if you think you got this, well, I hope, I hope that this video helped you out so when you go out into the lands of building up your small business and you make that website and you take that leap, that these tips can help you make your website a little bit more mobile friendly. If you found the video useful, hit that like button below. It only takes a couple seconds, people. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and the little dinger. That way you're notified the next time I put a video, which hopefully won't be so long because my Mac's working again. And if you have any ideas for future videos or any feedback on this video in particular, head down to the comments. I'll be sure to comment on them as soon as I see that. All right, y'all, let's make those websites mobile friendly. In fact, let's make our websites best friends with the mobile lands because remember, over half of internet users are using their mobile devices, so you don't want to miss that sector if you want your small business to reach its big goals. Until next time.